Recent CBS News polling shows that gun policy is one of the major factors likely voters are considering when voting for president. But on a state and local level, initiatives on gun policy are nearly non-existent on ballots. According to the nonpartisan nonprofit newsroom The Trace, Colorado is the only state with a gun-related initiative on its ballot this election year, despite the fact that initiatives were proposed in six other states for November but ultimately failed to make the ballots. We're now joined by Jennifer Massia, a senior news writer at The Trace who has extensively covered gun policy and community violence. Thank you for being here. I want to ask you in your reporting, which states saw progressive gun measures like implementing red flag laws or universal background checks that failed to make the ballot and why? So this year, you know, considering gun policy is in our lives every day, I mean, it's just one report of a shooting after another, and there is strong support for stronger gun laws. But this cycle, we saw a number of attempts of gun rights measures to get on ballots, far more than gun reform measures. So we saw, and all of these failed, um, we saw in Missouri, uh, several initiatives look to replace laws that had recently been stripped, like permitless carry, uh, expanded background checks, the ability of cities to set their own gun laws, which is very important. A lot of cities do not have the power in this country to set gun laws that are stronger than what the state sets. So several initiatives in Missouri look to rectify that. All of them failed. None of them were able to get signatures by the deadline. We also have, we do have, though, three initiatives on the ballot in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, localities also do put gun reform measures on the ballot. The problem here is that there is a state law in Tennessee, uh, like I just said, that um, localities cannot set their gun laws. So they're looking to put uh, measures on the ballot that reinstate the concealed carry permit that was lost in 2021. Somebody can just uh, carry a gun around with no permit and no training in Missouri, one of 30 states. And that conflicts with Tennessee state law. Now, the city council put this on the ballot. The state AG basically called this a waste of time because eventually, and he's probably right, it's eventually going to get struck down in court. So, um, but interestingly, the gun rights measures that were proposed in several states also failed. And mm. most of them are swing states, Michigan, um, Arizona. So it seems that there was very little success on any front this election cycle, which is rare. Usually there's at least one measure on the ballot. And Jennifer, you mentioned more gun rights uh, initiatives versus gun reform. Did those also fail because of a lack of signatures? They did. Um, you know, this is a, a very high stakes election. So there were a lot of get out the vote uh, efforts that may have just absorbed. You know, these are all volunteer staffs that are collecting signatures. So it's very possible that they were absorbed into other efforts, and this just wasn't the year. There were several states, Colorado, Arizona, that sought to reinstate uh, gun possession rights for people with medical marijuana cards because of federal law. You can't own a gun and be a marijuana user. And those are actually also not unpopular with progressives, those measures. Hmm. Both of those failed. Um, hmm. In Washington, several gun rights measures failed. You know, Washington is a solidly blue state. But uh, one would have prohibited a state registry of gun owners, which is very important to a lot of gun rights people. Mm. Another would have uh, codified the right to buy guns for self-defense. And another would have repealed the semi-automatic rifle ban. And I spoke with the person who sponsored that one. And he said in solidly blue Washington, there were people who actually ripped petitions up in his face. Wow. It is politically unpalatable in some states, uh, if you're a red state, to put forward gun reform proposals. And if you're a blue state, to put forward gun rights proposals. Sounds like Colorado, the only state in which there will be a ballot initiative related to this issue. Jennifer Messia, thank you. Thank you.